All right. Oh, God. This, I didn't see this. Barely legible journal. Whoever wrote these words must have been under the influence or else severely ill. Comparing these might reveal a clue. You see, all the others I had to create a cipher key for, so I would have gone for the wrong one had we not had this tip. You decipher the note and read, The milk of the mother has transformed me more than I ever dreamed possible. Indescribable power courses through me. The mother is wise. Now we can accomplish what was once impossible. Interesting. Is that not it? Can't go around the back of here. Nothing else to see. Uh, I guess we leave. I'm going to guess that when we try to leave, there's going to be uh, a goat-shaped obstacle in the way. Just a hunch. Or maybe that's leaving the mansion. Okay, we're going. Man, I could have done without those uh, those last insanities there. Everyone's starting to go insane. Was having this book really worth all the trouble it caused you? We shall see. We have the book and everybody's here. It's time to move. You managed to stay sane. I don't think so. Since you've discovered evidence that the herd of Algidi communicated with Professor Tillingast and contacted Arkham Asylum about the mad gravekeeper, you decide the group deserves further investigation. And we've got the shotgun. So I guess we have some decent weapons for the next outing. His name may pop up more than once, but I can't imagine this Alphonse Lanoui will prove helpful to your investigation. I am quite curious. You insist on seeking him out. You can find his shop in the French Quarter. I'm quite curious as to whether these chapters continue down here and we have like 10 chapters to the game altogether. The peculiar Monsieur Lanoui. Investigators left at the office have got some much needed rest. Their sanity has slightly improved. Thank God for that. Well, I mean, we really needed that. Um, we're only taking two, so I wonder if we're going to meet somebody else. We, we need to let these guys rest up. because This is this is bad. See you later, Smegly. Take care. Hope the job goes okay. So we're definitely taking him. And we're definitely taking her. Because I want these guys rested. Yeah, go on. They're okay. Um, well, what are these? She's Is she surprisingly strong with melee? He's good with magic, but at the same time, magic is really dangerous. Reduce their combat movement. Uh, either way, some bandages are going to be a good idea. Range defense. Have, you have the range defense. Uh, melee defense, but initiative is lowered. Seven to nine. Seven to nine. What's that one do? Magic defense. Are we going to need magic defense? Plus two to all types of defense. Oh, that, no, that's when you cast it, though. That's not just equipping it, is it? Then again, if he's using a gun, that's four action points, though. Seven to eight. Uh, have a gun. Um, I can't remember what she's good with. I'll give her a shotgun. And a knife. Actually, no, let's not, let's not, let's not. Do I want that? Should we hold off on that? I'm going to guess that this level isn't going to be too hard. I'm going to assume. What's that one? That's fine. Um, I feel like I want a, another weapon. The melee defense. Go on then. Initiative is lowered, but it's defenses. So we're going to find some stuff. There we go. Let's go. Yep. Off we go. Hmm. That goat fight was... Uh, I wouldn't say it was difficult. 
I don't think any of the fights in this are particularly difficult. Oh, nice. You're wasting time pursuing this Lanwi character. He's untrustworthy at best, an outright liar at worst. If nothing else, New Orleans is a beautiful city to visit. You never know what you'll find around the next corner. She's trying to distract us. Of course, not everything one finds here is a pleasant surprise. I hope nothing tragic befalls you on these unfamiliar streets. Finally, we're in the French Quarter, and there's Jackson Square up ahead. Did this guy's voice. I love this guy's voice. If Rex was telling us the truth, we'll find Alphonse Lanouille's shop on a back street nearby. I still think this Lanoui is not to be trusted. I don't know if this Lanoui is on our side or not in this situation. Uh, my friend Jules was out fishing in the bayou when he came upon an old house. He reckoned it was abandoned, but then he saw a light inside. Well, old Jules just had to take a look, didn't he? What did he see inside? Some sort of monster, I suppose. But I couldn't get him to say more than that. Just checking our investigators on this. So he is uh, average at range. He doesn't want to be melee at all. He's weak in that, which means, I think, it it takes an extra action point to do, do an attack. Oh, he's only average in ma magic. Okay. She's average in magic. I guess none of them are particularly strong. Um, and melee is just average. Okay. These, these aren't combat characters, which uh, I'm not terribly surprised at. Sometimes touch reveals more than sight. The nearby bush might conceal something interesting. Oh, nice. Shotgun shells. Thank you very much. We'll take those. Not that we have a shotgun on this adventure. Do you think the fact that it's giving me shotgun shells suggests that you're going to want a shotgun, mate? We'll just try and sprint down here. The car is the latest, most fashionable model available. You can't help pausing to admire the sight of it. Dead end up ahead. Can you spare a dime? A grubby vagrant approaches, hand held, hand held out, hopefully. It'd be nice to uh, say yes. Bourbon Street must be nearby. I can smell the filthy gutters and hear that racket they call music. Ah! Uh, old Maggie June tells me Miss Cartwright from two streets down the way hasn't been seen for a month or longer. Some of them that's been out to the bayou since then say the witch dragged her out there by the hair and has boiled her up for some gumbo. Really, an, a, an old sort of silly story like that warrants a sanity check. I don't know. I don't think that warranted a sanity check. Do you guys? I think we were hard done by there. Right, I'm going to sprint back to where we came from. I really wish the sprint in this game was a sprint. I can't. If I mash it, no, it doesn't make any difference. Ooh, let's check the trash can. Oh, I got the sanity back. Hang on. Oh, it's a mailbox. I thought it was a trash can. Okay, so we basically we looked in, in the mailbox. And the smell of fresh coffee made us feel better. Oh, nice. We're definitely taking that. Those are excellent. The herd of Algidi must have some high standards for membership. Mm -hmm. They rejected me, even though I studied the night skies for 12 years. I wonder what their special requirements are. Hooves and horns, mate. You are sadly lacking them. Here for the Mardi Gras celebration. The parade comes right along the street. I hear the floats are really something this year. A new crew called the herd of Algidi spent a lot of money on theirs. Ah open gunfight in the street, I think, with a herd of Algidi. What was she thinking? My youngest, Mildred, wanted to run off to play with her friends in the bayou. Well, you can be sure I forbid it. No child of mine is going out there, not without witch just waiting to snatch her up. Hmm. I know New Orleans is supposed to be, uh, uh, it's got like a culture of voodoo and stuff anyway, but uh, 
This witch in the bayou doesn't sound too good. Barbed wire. Melee attack damage plus two. Wrap a little barbed wire around your fists. Seriously? Seriously? Has, has anyone here actually tried to handle barbed wire? You would not wrap it around your fists. If anything was going to cause a sanity check, it would be wrapping barbed wire around your fists and trying to hit somebody with it. That's insane. I mean, it's a nice little bonus. You might wrap it around... If you had some really thick leather gauntlets, you might wrap it around that. But even so, that's... They'd, they'd have to be, like, seriously good protection. Is that a... Oh, I thought that was a little white spot on top. Kitchen supplies. Backstreet grocery store full of shoppers sniffing and squeezing produce while making their selections. Oh, a very useful little tip you gave us there. Is there anything down... This is where we want the um, camera angle to change, but we can't. I don't think there's anything I missed down there. Did you hear the herd of Algides making another float for the Mardi Gras parade this year? I don't know how they'll top last year's. When the balloon exploded, we all thought it was an accident, but then stars flew everywhere. Amazing. And that's how they're going to kill half the city. It's going to be an exploding float. Hand-drawn poster of a young woman is pasted to the brick wall. The notice says she's been missing for about a month. Month. When did our investigation start? Poster. In bold letters over a vaguely squirming green and black background, the poster reads, Mythos. You don't recognise that as a brand name, but you can't shake the feeling that the word has some connection to the recent strange events in your life. Okay, let me just see where we are at the moment. So we're heading back down here. An old voodoo shop. This must be the place. The door's locked. Mr. Lanoui, we've come to talk to you. Hey, get away from my shop. Hey, you won't trick me that easily, you bloody-handed assassins. <laughs> okay, this guy sounds like he's under a bit of pressure. Oh, damn, I've moved my chair around. Too We're high. Not Are we? Are we not assassins? I warned you he's untrustworthy. Mr. Lanoui, we're just here to talk. Leave at once before I call the police. He sounds upset. Maybe one of his neighbours can help us talk to him. Okay, so we've got to go and find some help from a neighbour, eh? Is that where we would have come up? A man that's uh, avoiding making eye contact, perhaps he could direct you to your destination. Some people act only out of it. So I want, you want me to intimidate the guy, really. Alphonse Lanoui? The person responds, I know him well enough to cross the street when he walks by. The one person he treats like a friend is named Aristide. Aristide? <laughs> I'm reading it like it's an ancient Greek name. Aristides. I sometimes see them sitting in front of Jackson Square. Aristide. Aristide. I don't know how they... I've never heard that as a first name in my life before. Oh, hang on. Do I need to add to ask these anything? A uh, little personal magnetism. Charm. Uh, talk to Arista. Okay, it's, we're not getting any different information here. So where did he say... I want to move the camera angle, but I, it won't let me. It's in this fixed position. It's driving me mad. Aristides, we come here from Testicles. Okay, yep, yeah, we'll take that. Only I'd brought the shotgun, eh? Oh, what the hell? Somebody help! Those men are attacking that woman. Let's give her a hand. Well, there shouldn't be any sanity checks for this. Because these are just thugs, right? You are kidding. It's it's making is that 
Is that really making me do a sanity check every time we enter combat? Okay, there's a guy with a shotgun there. I think the shotgun has to go. Is it really five points to activate this? Okay, that's not so great. This guy isn't a combat character, though. Let's, let's be honest. No, it's not five points. It's five bullets. It's four points to activate it. Right, we're going to try and focus down the shotgun dude, I think. Boom. <laughs> Seriously, a nice shot. Well done. If I can move out the way... Um, the thing is, though, I want her to move in, so she's going to be at risk here. That does three to five. That does eight to nine. Eight to nine? Is that because she's got the barbed wire equipped? What if I equip that? Does it not automatically equip? Maybe I should have had that equipped before the fight. And that. I don't know if that is... Well, it's got E for it. It must be equipped. It must be. Right, we're going to go up and we're going to... Um... I was hoping to get two attacks with this, but it's not going to work, is it? Uh, eight to nine damage. It's still pretty damn nice, though. Stick him! Nice! Guy with a shotgun goes down. Actually, I don't think the shotgun's any more dangerous than a lead pipe, really, apart from the range on it. But I do have a nice bit of melee defense on this character. Which you wouldn't think, but... Is she gonna help? Do we know who this is? She has a knife. Can I press on... Oh, okay. Can I spin this around? She's got nothing else to use. We're going to have to move in then, aren't we? Uh, that's a shame. So we can move in, but then we can't actually fight this turn. But we can go on Overwatch. No, sorry. No, we can't. We, oh, I can't even go on Overwatch, look. Or use that. Uh, that sucks. Um, oh, well, in the turn then. Old Professor Watts' face over there. He's staying out of it. So let's shoot the guy. Don't think it matters which one we go for. 26. Yeah, they're both the same. We'll just focus fire on that one. If we can. There's nothing else you can do. I was really hoping she was going to get to go twice. So let's... Um... Knife him. 13. That's that's a nice chunky hit. Will she survive? She might not. Oh, she doesn't have the bloody uh, bandages. Okay, I'm going to have to move to here then and hope they hit somebody else. Six. Okay, she should be all right then. She should be all right. Okay, we spread the damage around a bit. Uh, can you finish him off? Six to seven, yeah, so he's going to die. Good. These don't look like they're dressed for a, a melee knife fight, do they? Um... Oh, oh, blind? No, it doesn't matter. I don't need to remove blind. I'm going to probably reset this after this turn. Boom! The professor just casually shooting the guy down. Knife. Nine points. Okay, he hits back. She stands firm. 
moving a bit. Um, only one to three, so always the knife. Huh. Leaving him on two points. Um, just reload the gun. I don't actually need to do any more than that. Move up. I was going to move up and bandage, but uh, we can't do that. And you're going to finish off with a massive... That does that does three to five, so that's enough. I don't need to wear out my... <laughs> Punched him with barbed wire wrapped around the fists. That's my oh, kind of professor. Thanks for your help. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't come along when you did. You're welcome. Who were those men? I've never seen them before. They cornered me just as I came out of the social club. Social club. Maybe they heard me singing there. I haven't seen you before either. What brings you to the French Quarter? We need to talk to Alphonse Lanoui at his voodoo shop. But he seems reluctant to let us inside. Mr. Lanoui? He was friends with my late grandmare. He might remember me. We'd be delighted to have you. But things aren't always safe around us lately. Oh, don't worry about me. I can hold my own. Just not when outnumbered three to one. I don't know whether you can trust this local guide you've discovered. But let's hope your good deed in saving her goes unpunished. Can we not pick up the booze? Because I'm pretty sure that booze in this game... Um... Gets rid of sanity or restores sanity. Oh, shit. Wrong one. And use that to reset that, please. Nice. Thanks. One of your retailers has priced the, the 2080 lower than the 2060. Why? Mind you, those 20 series cards look damned expensive now compared to uh, what should be the prices for the 30 series. A wooden crate. A fresh wooden crate. It's sealed tight. You'll need something to force it open if you want to look inside. Let's um, give it a shake. No, let's break it. Oh, come on. We're just going to move it. A little applied mechanics is all it takes to open the container to see what's inside. And we get bandages. Uh, we do need these, actually. Is that reloaded? It's not, but that's all we have, so we're nearly out of ammunition for this. This is equipped, isn't it? Yeah, and those are equipped. Right. And that's equipped. Good. And she's got a knife. We're not that well off for things, sadly. Anyway, what we need to do is we do need to spread this, uh, this these bandages out a bit. I'll put three in there. Um use there I think we can use another one can we god yes let's let's get them used up I need my melee tanks back to full fighting order and she's down six points uh I'm not use a bandage on her yet I need ammunition Well, let's go. I've never used this stuff. Shame we can't buy ammunition between um, fights. Do we want to go in there? I don't even know if we can. I mean, maybe. Maybe it'd be good to. Uh, I want to see what this new character's like in skills. The Entertainer. So she's weak in melee, but she's average at range. Oh, she's strong in magic. Okay. That would be the first person. Maria has less chance of doing a wild cast when casting a spell. I haven't got any spells with me whatsoever. Well, he's average at range, so he's not. I'm not hurting him by giving that. Okay. Interesting. I don't think we're going to go in there. Speaky is still open for business. Honestly, what's the point of having a prohibition law if nobody obeys it? 
You catch a brief glimpse of a long bar and a dozen cosy tables, all set with glasses of liquor. A whiff of booze drift out onto the sidewalk. And you realise this speakeasy isn't even trying to disguise its business. The police in this district must be well bribed. Oh, well, that was not quite so helpful. Interesting screen up there. After my friend David joined the herd of Algidi last year, he began acting all high and mighty. He's too good to speak to me anymore. Aww. Uh, Lanwi, you mean the owner of that weird shop? Yeah, I've seen him around, but he's an odd duck. I don't even know that I'd trust him if I were you. The newspaper article reads... Police investigating disappearance of Miss Elizabeth Cartwright. Any with information as to her whereabouts are to contact the police. Police discourage further reports of a Bayou witch. Yeah, the police never believe anything in uh, in Cthulhu. Have I left my... Oh, no, they're here. A newspaper article on this year's Mardi Gras celebration predicts a record attendance and a parade with the greatest costumes and floats ever seen in New Orleans. That would be the perfect time to um, have some sort of horrible event. A mass spreading of the mother's milk to turn the entire crowd at Mardi Gras into these goat creatures. Well, that might be a thing. Pile of debris. I must examine this closely. Nice. Okay. She's better at range than melee, so we'll take that and we have some bullets. This is a 5 to 7 versus a 7 to 8. Okay, you can have that for now. We'll take that. Uh, which knife is the best? Eight to nine, six to seven. <laughs> that still is bizarre, that one. I like the background music in this. Seems quite fitting. Uh, so we've been up there. been through here. Where's this? I just want to see where this one is. Oh, hang on. This map is... I totally lose my orientation. I wish I had an on-screen compass or something. Hey! Peering into the mailbox, you see a big box inside. The odour of fresh baked cookies wafts over you. That's nice. Hang on, I'm not looking at a mailbox. I'm looking at a table. Yep, playing as Donald Sutherland again. How's it going, Piranha Man? Donald Sutherland, voiced by Dick Van Dyke from Diagnosis Murder. Okay, watch, watch this have something that actually... A street cart full of wine, cheese and cake stands unguarded in the street. No, it's not. There's somebody just there guarding it. Digging through the baubles might turn up something interesting. There's no point in searching until taking it out first. Pardon? Oh, empty then. Ah, oh, nice. And we found a sword-off shotgun. That is really nice. Um, okay, I'm going to give it to him. Because I think... I think he can use it and maybe reload in the same turn. 7 to 8, 6 to 10. I'll put this in my pocket. Is that a po uh, shotgun in your pocket? Or are you just pleased to see me? How's it going, Piranha Man? Dirty bandages we don't... Well, we don't need, but we'll take. Because we have the... the we can stack the other ones up. We don't need to use dirty ones. And he has the um, sanity to spare at the moment. I heard the mayor owes this herd of Algidi a special favour after they helped him with a so-called medical problem. They've given him a goat willy. Yeah, I've heard the rumours about the witch house, says the man. They say it lies far out in the bayou where it stood abandoned for ages. I hear tell there's an old lady there now, weaving magic. You get too close, you can hear the screams of the victim she sacrifices. Nice. Uh, have we found this guy we're supposed to be looking for? 